Mr. Chairman, I'd like to enter into the record a little more detail plan. A little bit more of uh, an education on it. In 1956, when uh, Country Hill just, uh, started to do its um, preliminary drainage, at uh, number 15 and at number 9, they took 10 inch uh, PVC drain from from Country Hill down to the back of the properties on Pomeroy into a salt and a sand dish that runs uh, along the back of the property to catch the water and to bring it down into Francis Street. Where the Burridge Way development was done in 1997, there was a wetlands crossing done and a uh, concrete 24-foot uh, uh, bridge was put in and uh, a detention pond was, uh, was made made more usable there. And that went on the north side of this town on property now. And it wraps around the back, hooked into that ditch uh, drainage. And uh, the PVC pipes from from uh, Country Hill Road come into that drainage. But uh, since 1956, it hasn't been maintained at all. And now it's backing up and it's creating more of a uh, wetland issue. When uh, there was a piece of property that was uh, made at the end of the Baker Street and Plymouth Street, and they shot in the, the Baker Street back the way, and the houses would be put back the way, and uh, from what we understand, uh, most likely a couple of the lot would be taken care of there. The um, layer came out and uh, walked the property, and I'm going to, she made notes that the hospital has wetland along the east side, not shown in the town map, but field ver verified is within 100 feet of the wetland on the north side of that parcel also. Um, and further, uh, and further investigation shows that the, uh, that the area is, is getting wetter. The concerns of the four or five abutters on Pomeroy Road is uh, their land is already wet back there, and once the trees would be cut down, of course, and, and made way for another lot back there, would make, of course, more run come into that area and create more of a habit with wetland. The, um, the, I have a map here if you want me to show you on the uh, detention pond right to the north, within, within 75 feet of the wetland there. And uh, that detention pond, grab the hole, like I said, and all that water comes down and around all four of these properties. Uh, the bike path, the easement, the sound easement is shown on this here map, I make, has already been stated by uh, this is associate from Jane Associates on North Street. And what it does show is your property is having for sale. The, uh, right here is where you have the crossing of the concrete bridge and the tension pond is in here. So with, with this wetland is all this, it picks up this dike, which is man-made, it has a white sand bottom to help the water uh, leave quicker. It comes around your other town's property that you're not even trying to sell because it's so wet. And you have the 75 feet here. This this uh, lot line has been moved back <coughs> back to here, and uh, from what I understand, uh, they'll be building back here. So they're not down here in this wet area no more. The, uh, the situation that these have is all of these here properties are now wet. And if this was to be plowed and made ready, we would do. Said that you're going to have everything wet after here. I think it's also important, and correct me if I'm wrong, that some people direct about us. Most of those houses that we're talking about are probably road are slabs, right? That are no. Well, well we have, have seven, to have seven and five all. Seven, five and five. seven. Okay. Five is, and some across the street, but the others have problems with the other ones have wet basements. That's no, we of, never had a wet basement. You don't want what? No. It's all about <laughs> Okay, but I can give you a repeat. 
people. They, they weren't interested in the project. I have a memo from the. Uh, was of no value to the CPC. No, no value to the CPC. The um, CPC gave a memo. I don't know if you people got me on package. Yes. Yes, we did get it. You got it. Yes. <laughs> from. Uh, from Ivy. Yes, we did receive that. Did you write into that? Yes, it was in the. Um,
to the point now where hundreds of thousands of gallons come in here every year into, the, into that area. And I think a lot of the water goes onto the Berks, to the Stewarts, that whole area back there. Now, I'm not sure about who the builder is or what happened back in Barrett Way. That was before we got there. But if anyone says that <coughs> this water is running down Barrett Way onto Moore Street, they're a liar. But I go back there and smoke a cigar every other day, and I walk into those, those, that property, and I check on the deer, and I do all the, the right things. And we're trying to get that immediately. That's a huge, huge problem. We saw a council in the middle hoping that something is done with that. You can imagine having 15, 15 lots worth of water going on a Pomeroy, but onto our property specifically. And I think it's something that 25 years ago might have been what the thing to do, but now it's just absolutely, you know, devastating that property back there. Now, if they built the house back there, I think it would be a pretty house. It'd be a nice lot. But something would have to be done with all the drainage, all the way down behind the property lines of Pomeroy and down there, all the way to North Street. You know, and it's a big project. Not needless to say that that, that storm uh, drain water would have to come off Pomeroy and down into North Street. That whole road would have to be done over. And I doubt if there's enough money to do that you know, at this point anywhere. The way the, way the roads look in this town. So, you know, Dean, that's what Dean and I, are, our biggest problem is if there's a house up there, it's all these other things got to be taken care of because, you know, you just can't add to it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Richard Spindler, I'm the owner of uh, Sixth uh, Beverage Way, and it abuts this property, which I'd be very much interested in bidding for. I just want to go on record. Someone else said raise a hand. I have some. State your name is Rich. Judy Trainers. I own 15 Pomeroy. It doesn't abut, but it does live in the stream that runs through the back of all of these houses. And it's not just a, a pipe, it's a stream. It, it's a big stream that has, comes, backs up into our yards, I think all of us, but who was it? The gentleman over there said he gets all the stuff from Country Club, well, so do I. It comes down there and it comes between Neil and my house and it empties out into the stream. It floods over into our yards spring we can't walk out into our backyards and any building like that anytime you tear up land you take out trees you're building on a hill is that slanted there that land at all yes, it is. and it's going to rush that any septic we have septic smells in the area and everything that's going to drain right down to that stream and mm -hmm. back up in my yard i get an oil scum over the the water that's in there is probably septic, it smells, it's, it's dirty, it's coming from everywhere. I'm the lowest point around me. I think I'm just sinking because other people <laughs> end up going up. But um, it all comes right there at the, um, at the bend of that stream. So I get all that water. And I just don't see any building around there at all. I was opposed to the other property too because Anything that's built on that hill is going to come down into that stream and just add. I think um, said that when she went to the conservation, they said that any taking down of trees or anything would probably raise the water level there. And there is a honeycomb uh, <coughs> back. Ruth Piero, 14 and 18 Plum right. Street. We're just up here. Sorry. And uh, I would be interested in purchasing that property also. The reason being, that also slopes down toward my property, too. And if you purchase the property, uh, what, what, your, what would be your plan? I already got an okay to build on 18, which is that little lot next to it that abuts it. I might be able to situate the home on that differently, taking into consideration you have more room to work with. So if you acquire the property, if I understand what you're saying, is that between what you're calling it, uh, 18 and 